Hello, my werewolf and vampires out there. It is that time once again to begin, say it with me, spooking your mama. Your mama. You guys know as a big horror fan, I like to decorate the set every year and just get into the spirit of Halloween. And well, that's exactly what I'll be continuing on here. You will follow me again on a variety of different stores, picking up random things, bringing them to the set and trying to make it work. But I'll be honest with you guys, this year I, I was a little lost. I was like, man, what do I do? I just, I, you got to up the ante every year. Just can't do the same stuff every time, right? So I did ask for some of your guys' suggestions here. So looking at them. I like that you included me in my Robin suit. That is my peak hunk self, so I appreciate you putting that. Don't know what Heisenberg and Trump have to do with it, but they are frightening me in this photo. What I like most about this suggestion, though, is the pumpkin on top of the Cat America shield. I might have to remember that. Another great suggestion here that the last person also thought the Camp Crystal Lake sign should belong in place of the hoverboard. And, you know, I do that every year, and I still like it. That sign, yellow, just pops. Might have to keep that. I also like your suggestion of orange caution tape on the table. Orange is the spooky color so I have to stick with that on this suggestion here I like the inclusion of an animatronic because uh, that's gonna be my number one goal this year is add an animatronic to the set that's how we up the ante all is to say your guys' suggestions really got my creative juices a flow and spark some inspiration I don't know where I'm gonna find a great white to put on top of there but if I can dive into the ocean I'll I'll do it but all right let's start beginning the process first thing got the studio like a fish A big sad change coming to the set is I've decided to get rid of the Funko box. I feel like I got enough Funkos all around the regular set that this space could be used for something else. So it's finally time to pull this puppy out. <laughs> Breaks my heart. Now, usually this would be the part of the video where I stop and I start heading out because this is an entire horror section. I like to have it all year around, but I'm thinking I'm gonna push it off to the side because I got an idea of something to put there, but no fear. It'll come back eventually. The set has now been gutted. Let's go out and find some spooky things and I'll see you in a bit. First stop here on the Spooky Mama train, good old reliable Wallyville. Also, peep the shirt, Universal Monsters. I thought this looked nice and you know I like to dress up for you. Let's go in. Always gotta double check. Don't wanna get a squeaky wheel. I gotta admit, I was a lonely three aisles of stuff to look at here. Walmart, I could have sworn there was more last year. Oh, these black pumpkins, man. They calling to me. I feel like they wouldn't show up though on my set very well. Okay, we got our first winner of the night, y'all. Anything goes face. You know I gotta grab it here. It says 36 inches. We got something in common. Oh, I don't know if I should just get one or two. You got some evil gnomes for your yards. That's kind of cool. One thing I always like to do every year is look at the kid costumes and compare them to the costumes I had as a child. So looking at these right here, look at that, we got, you can be Sam. That's so awesome that a rated R movie can be made for a kid's costume. We got, I know this guy. I doubt I'd be able to fit in it though. This one kind of surprised me. I thought this was just like a YouTube thing where they made Peppa Pig a killer. Walmart is selling Peppa Pig killer merch? Piggy. Out of time before she gets a movie, I bet. One thing I did want to do this Spooky Mama season is hit a lot more stores, because there's variety out there. I know you guys see me spending a crap load of money on just some plastic stuff that looks like skeletons, but first year I did this, I spent all my money, 30 bucks to fill out my set at a dollar store. So 99 cent store, might find some hidden gems in here, and if it don't cost 99 cents, we're not allowed to pick it up. That's the rule. No false advertising on 3C. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I always like to wrap my boom arm with something Halloween colored. This is perfect. Halloween ponchos. Oh, that's cool. A Halloween poncho. I've never heard of this. You know, I would have done it. I would have gotten it, but $2.99. This store is lying to you guys. I can't believe it. They still have 
the hand I used in my old set. They still are selling this hand and foot. All right, shopping at the 99 cent store done. Let's get out of here. I'm sure we won't face any issues leaving. So now you know. They won't sell you stuff for 99 cents and you can't take their carts at all. So last year, so many comments were like, Chris, Party City, why don't you go to Party City? Chris, are you sitting in the party? I'm here now, okay? Now, Party City used to be one of my favorite places to go around the Spooky Mama season. And I don't know what happened. Every year their Halloween stuff got less and less and less. I remember being a kid walking into Party City and it was like everywhere. I was like, oh my goodness, and it stopped. So it's like visiting an old girlfriend and maybe that's why I got a haircut. Okay, now this is probably poor positioning on this part. Look at where the skeleton's at and look who's behind him. Skeleton's getting the glizzy from Michael Myers. I'm really loving the design of this pumpkin. Like I said, orange is the spooky mama theme. I might take this pumpkin and put it in one of my shelves. Now what is this? When, when's he ever rocked a knife like this? Look at that, sorry, this thing is uh, at 12 feet and I'm only nine, so I can't reach it all the way. It is stuck, okay. Well, I guess for safety, what do they think? They're actually gonna fall and kill somebody? I will give Party City props for this awesome display. Like, this is just cool. How you doing, Spider-Man? 3C Films. See you, chump. And see, like, this is what I was talking about. This whole roll down here is all the spooky decor, real hardcore Halloween stuff. And then over here, every other single aisle is for other parties, you know, whether it's a, it's a wedding, anniversary, a quinceanera, homecoming, this and that. Party City, when it was Halloween, all these aisles were Halloween stuff, man. This is why I left you. You could never find a way to please me, Party City. And actually, as a side note, after I left Party City, I really wanted to find out why they slowed down on their Halloween merch. And it's because Party City now focuses on their separate stores, Halloween City, that are meant to pop up randomly, same like Spirit Halloween. And I found one near me, but unfortunately, they were in the middle of setting up even though their doors were open. So I couldn't really explore the store. But now this makes a lot more sense. All right, so to get the bad taste out of our mouth from Party City, we've come to the true king of Halloween now, Spirit Halloween. Oh. This is always the place I'm looking forward to. So let's, let's not even wait any longer, let's get inside. Welcome to Wonderland. I wish they would get shopping carts and uh, this is the best they can do right now. So we're gonna have to make that work. Kicking things off on this year's Spirit Halloween journey, the shirt of walls, the, the wall of shirts. That's how excited I am. Looks like I came a little too late, man. I thought this shirt looked so cool, but they don't got it in my size. Ghostface with the VHS, classic. A true patron refolds the clothes before they put it back. That's how much respect I got for Spirit Halloween. I really like this Michael Meyer painting one, but I do not see it on the shirt rack. My next favorite thing about Spirit Halloween is they always have sections for iconic Hercules. We're always talking about the Mount Rushmore of horror icons, you know, whose faces belong on there. If you have your own section in Spirit Halloween, that's how you've made it to the mountain, okay? So we have Sam here from Trick or Treat. This year they're going with like the classic looks and pulling out the plastic masks. All the little people that were on that bus with little Sam. Oh, they got, they have a box cutter. Is it a real box cutter though? Is it fake? This would so be my everyday box cutter for when I open my Amazon purchases. A full section to Freddy Krueger. My boy, I'm still waiting for you to have a new movie. It's way cool if his face got mashed. The Jason Voorhees section here, looking nice. <laughs> All right, th this has lately become one of my obsessions every year. Seeing what new killer clown stuff they have at Spirit Halloween. I bought this bat one year, got these masks. Honey, I need you in this. No questions asked. We got, what is this, like a, a burger? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Highly recommend if you're a Killer Clown fan, or even if you're not, get this gun. Look how cool that is, only like 30 bucks. I love this, but if you wanna upgrade, this is their new addition this year, the popcorn gun. I'm gonna have to buy it. This bad boy is awesome. Spirit of Halloween. Keep the killer clown merch going. Of course, Ghostface, 
coming back into the swing of things, has his own section. Look at this blinged out mask. I'll be honest, if Ghostface killed me wearing this, wouldn't even be mad. Slay Queen, the Chucky section. As always, my channel would not exist if it were not for Chucky, so pardon me while I do my praying. A necklace for Tiffany. Now, mind you, Bombashes cleavage is not included. Not gonna lie, I like this color block hoodie from Child's Play, and I'd wear it, but I'm in Texas, and it's as hot as the devil's butt crack right now. I saw a lot of y'all suggesting that I get the Mars Attack animatronic, and while I do think it's awesome, I just don't know. My advice also to people who go to Spirit Halloween, do not sleep on the fashion, okay? Check out this. This crusty crab jacket. This is actually pretty dope. This Pizza Planet bomber jacket from Toy Story. You don't have to just wear this on Halloween. You wear this on a first date, she'll marry you. Just this. Of course, what's gonna end up being the most popular thing this year, and I'm surprised it's still even full, because I'm telling you, October 1st hits, Entire wall is gonna be gone. The Barbie stuff. I feel like this would be so itchy to wear. <laughs> Ken Bucks would be a lot of fun to get in. Some assembling required though. I was wanting to get an animatronic this year for the set. Put it off to the side there. I was hoping to find Shorty, but it looks like they don't got him. <sighs> they have Slim, seven foot tall, two inches. So he's an inch taller than me. This might have to be the one if I don't find the shorty animatronic but 400 bucks my boy all right we've made it now to the wall art and i think it is so hilarious they busted out this photo i don't know if i'd use this in the set but this is like perfect for like your guest bathroom i think and that's what i'm gonna buy it for this bates motel sign is so cool but it kind of freaks me out that it doesn't turn on man I'd, I'd hate to risk buying it and it doesn't work but i've seen people who've gotten this and it lights up nicely i kind of want it because i like psycho you know gotta pay respects to the classics there's some dope wall art here a little chucky good guy i don't know if the camera can catch that the last ghost face i definitely need this guy anything Ghostface merch I end up buying. Maybe I'll go with Michael too. Michael doesn't look so bad. This year they got a Pennywise statue coming out. These reefs though, these are dope. Okay, so you got a Texas Chainsaw Massacre one that like perfectly fits the atmosphere of the movie and even the recent game. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Killer Clown Reef. This one's kind of fun. I don't mind that, that's cool. The Trick or Treat Sam one also fits the aesthetic of the movie nicely. I like that, really cool. But of course, I mean, the, the Peace Day Resistance. I mean, how does that, it's a ghost face, it's a ghost face. I mean, I, I'm gonna need y'all to tell me, out of all four of these, which is the better one? Honestly, it might be the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one. I feel like it just fits perfectly with the movie. Now, last year, I was devastated because I could not find all these door covers. They were like sold out even before October. So I'm picking up Ghostface. That's gonna go on the door. Can't forget about my boy, old Chucky. My entire house is gonna be covered in this. It's gonna be fun. I have a lot of doors in my house. Texas Chainsaw Massacre door. I like this because that's my reaction as soon as I'm done taking a dumpy. I close that door hard and I'm like, don't go in there. Don't go in there if you wanna live. Oh, this is fun. They got a gremlins door with all the gremlins going crazy. We got all the Chucky little dolls coming out. Now there was something special here a few days ago and it sold out. Thankfully, I ordered it ahead of time and I'll be unboxing it on the channel. As tradition, every year I look at the Spirit of Halloween bobbleheads and I add one to my collection. This year, I chose Sam, half-headed, goes nicely in the collection. A 
I like that they're adding all the other Trick or Treat characters. They got a little bag boy. I really contemplated getting this Exorcist one because again, it's just wild when she goes down those stairs, but I don't know. Uh, I, I think I'd let it be. I'm sorry, Noah. It's time for you to be a little model, my son. The dog costumes. What do we want to make him today? Maybe something to less spookify him. This looks absolutely hilarious. Dog's becoming SpongeBob. But okay now, back at the studio, let's begin with getting this light sorted out. You need to say it with me. We need to call the red light gods, because that is the only spooky light we will accept here, okay? That one almost killed me. But all right, 99 cent store. Let's see what you do for this desk. Well, that's kind of fun. Swirls like a spooky candy cane. Now, while I love me red lights, we still need to add in more orange. This was actually 99 cents. And there we go, some orange to spice up the table. Let's move forward now. And boy, I got ourselves something nice to start off with. Let's do a quick unboxing. All right, so every year, Spirit of Halloween busts out some new collectibles. And uh, when I saw this one, I knew I had to have it and it was gonna be my favorite collectible in a long time. I was so sure everybody was gonna want this thing that it was gonna sell out. And sure enough, out of all the Spirit of Halloweens I've been to in this spooky season, I've only seen one store carry it. So I prepared ahead of time for this and I wasn't gonna risk not finding it out in the wild, so I ordered it. <laughs> oh, baby, come to daddy. This right here, my friends, is the Jack that is shown in the Child's Play 2 poster. Arguably my favorite Chucky movie and the best one made and even though that Jack doesn't really show up in the movie That poster is iconic is gorgeous. So when I saw they made a display replica. Oh I had to buy this thing. All right boys and girls. Let's see. Does this work? Oh, oh the famous strip once I pull this the batteries begin Let's see This is so cool. Now, it doesn't go into it, it, but at least it moves around. Like, that is a cool touch. This thing is awesome. I know some people wanted it bigger, but this is kind of perfect for me because, you know, I've been holding out on buying an expensive full-size replica of Chucky because I got this. This guy here was only 100 bucks. one of my favorite pieces in my collection, and it looks just like the Chucky from Child's Play 2. I think he looks fantastic. So, yeah, he's a little short, but if I put, you know, like a little pedestal behind him, I could basically recreate that same poster. Like, come on. Look at that. You're telling me that's not awesome? That's literally the Child's Play 2 poster. Next up, all your guys' suggestions are right, okay? That Camp Crystal Lake sign just looks great there, especially with the wacky colors I got going on there now. It's where it belongs. Now, you guys might have remembered, I showed you in the vlog, I really wanted this Bates Motel sign. I took the risk. I bought it. I replaced the batteries. Let's hope it works. I do not want to make a return. Uh, well, actually, I do want to return Spirit of Halloween, but not if it means not being able to keep this sign. Oh, no. What the heck? I had it off. Oh, shenanigans! I got the perfect spot for this. I'm going to place this right here. I feel like it's just a good balance. I got a sign over there with my name on it. I got a sign here letting you know I'm open if you want to come and stay over. I bought a good guy hammer. Just for this occasion. Home Depot dad music? How's that look? Does that look cool or not? Hmm. Come on in. We got free Wi-Fi, free breakfast, with a side of motto. Now, I know you're seeing some empty spaces right there and right behind me. Oh, then we're gonna save the best stuff for last. So let's get to these cubbies. Uh, let's get rid of that Cat America shield. What's that still doing here? Okay, so. Let's begin. So I liked some of your guys' suggestion of replacing the Cat America shield with a pumpkin, right? Only problem is, on my adventures, I could not find a wall pumpkin to put up there worthy enough for the set. So I had an evil, fiendish, bad idea, just like a Halloween Grinch. If I cannot find what I need, 
I'm gonna make it myself, y'all. Please forgive me, spooky gods, for what I'm about to have to do. It is time to perform surgery. I plan to cut this pumpkin in half like a magician and use it as nice wall art there. Let's hope this works, okay? There's already a seam, so it should make it pretty easy. Never have done this before. Um, safety gloves, don't try this at home. Uh, all that hoofla. Make sure professional does this, so. Let's just begin. I need more power. Dale! Power tools. Dale, no power tools! Oh, what? No power tools! Woo! After some hard hours and looping that Home Depot music, I'm officially dad material. Now let me clean up a little, and I'm hanging this up on the wall. Okay, the cleaning is done. The hanging of the pumpkin begins. Where is your rope, Ignacio? It was stinky, but these are my recreation clothes. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I did not think it was gonna work or look even as nice as it did. Pretty happy with it. You saw it in a quick instant. It took hours. But okay, with that situated, let's get to filling in these cubbies because it's looking a bit empty. Now, I know every year I do the mask thing and I do like the mask. I think it looks cool, but I wanted to try something different this year. So, uh, see you in a sec. And okay, here we are. There was actually kind of a domino effect that happened once I started trying to sort things out. But showing off here, my thought process is right down the middle. I decided to add my horror collectibles. Now you guys know I am a Funko Pop addict, but I am willing to spend the hundred bucks on a nice detailed figure if it's something I really love and that includes horror icons. So I got Freddy, Jason, Leatherface, Ghostface, Michael, and Art the Clown. I think they just come off looking really nice. Then I decided to move Chucky and the Child's Play Jack over here. I guess I just had a brain fart and I should have realized the Killer Clown popcorn bucket should go with the Killer Clown shelf. I just, uh, just forgive me for that one, okay? It l looks a lot better now, right? And well, since I had one short king starting off on this side, I thought, well, Time to put another short king. We got Billy the Puppet who's getting a new Saw movie this month. So I was like, yeah, let's throw him in there. I added the Ghostface statue that Spirit of Halloween was selling just because I really like Ghostface. And well, you can't have a spooky Halloween set without Sam being thrown in the mix. And uh, that just completes the short king edition. But all right, last big thing before we get on to the animatronics and filling in these empty spaces. Uh, what mask do I want to put up there? Now, when I was at Spirit of Halloween, the moment I saw the aged up ghost face mask, I had to add it on. That movie takes place on Halloween day. That would go nicely next to the pumpkin. And then I thought, oh, there's another white aged mask that roams around the Halloween season, Michael Myers. So I don't know. I kind of really just wanted to put those two up there. And there we go. Another satisfied piece of the collection. Let's get on to the big boys now. Oh. oh. He's not that heavy, but he's big. All right, the plan for this boy, first animatronic ever on the Spooky Mama set. I want him to go right behind me. I feel like that would just be terrifying, but space can sometimes be tight back there. Or worst case scenario, he'll have to go over there and something else will go right behind me. But all right, uh, let me open this thing and see if I can get it set up the way I want. Oh, I got his shoes first. What do you think? Size 10s? Time to put on the head. That oh boy is way too big, isn't he? <laughs> He's way too big. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I thought for a good second there, it wasn't gonna work. Not even gonna be able to fit him into the set, but after some moving, rearranging, fixing up the camera and whatnot, the boy is there. Let's turn him on. What turns you on, clown? Can you hear him? Can you hear the slim scream? <laughs> so
So what I had to do to get him back there is I had to just scoot this shelf out as much as possible, then squeeze him in there. I unfortunately couldn't put both his hands on him. So he's only got one, but for my purposes, it kind of works because it looks like he's giving a thumbs up instead of holding the popcorn bag. He was also covering the ghost face mask, so I had to move it over here, which I think looks just as cool. All right, so another thing I ordered ahead of time because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to find it in stores, and I'm glad I did. It was not in any stores, and uh, well, let me just open it up. I told you, if they make killer clown stuff, I can't help but to buy it. And they made the cotton candy cocoon that the killer clowns put their victims in. This thing better look awesome right there. Let's get it then. So, uh, man, uh, <laughs> looks like I'm going to have to use uh, the old esophagus because uh, it blows up like a balloon. So, <sighs> okay. If I pass out, call somebody. I have blown it up. I totally didn't cheat out and use an automatic balloon blower to do it, realizing I didn't have the blow power. How you doing, Johnny? All right, let's attach the toppity top. And there he is, Johnny looking tasty. That's a wrap now on the Halloween Spooky Mama set for 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the set. So now let's just look forward to a wonderful Spooky Mama season. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Let me know what was your favorite item added to the set. I do this for you amazing people because you make it worth it. So thank you. But as always, you know, my name is Chris. Take care.